Hello, today's devotional can be found in Job chapter 39, verse 19. Hast thou given the horse strength? Hast thou clothed his neck with thunder? Okay, so we can see ourselves as the horse, metaphorically speaking. Do we take care of ourselves like Heavenly Father intended us to do? Do we strengthen ourselves physically and spiritually that we might be able to function well enough to feel the Spirit of God and to act upon it when it promises to do things that are good for us to do? Do we truly care enough about ourselves to put the time and the effort into taking care of ourselves that we might remember who we are and that God wants us to take care of ourselves. Do we truly understand that we are worth far more than we actually realize and that God gives us all that we need to take care of ourselves in a successful fashion, but he leaves the choice up to us. You see, if we don't take care of ourselves, that's our choice, but there are consequences for every choice that we make. And if we don't give ourselves physical and spiritual strength, we will feel it later on. If we don't give ourselves physical strength, to the resources that Heavenly Father has provided for us. We aren't going to be in any shape to feel the Spirit of God and to act upon it or to help others when it is needed. Because when our physical strength is weak, everything else is weak. That when our physical strength is strong, then we have the ability to be strong. We need to fortify ourselves spiritually so that we don't fall prey to the temptations of Satan that will weaken our physical self because there are many temptations out there and they will weaken our physical self to the point where we can only watch as our body wastes away. Do we clothe ourselves with the Holy Spirit of God and do we clothe ourselves properly, treating our body as a temple, feeding it, strengthening it, that the spirit might feel safe dwelling there. Do we allow the Lord's hand to be in our lives, and do we allow him to work his many mighty miracles? Do we... Do we take the time to know and understand that the Lord truly loves us and that he cares for us and that he gives us all that we need to succeed if we want to succeed? Do we understand that Satan will try everything and anything to get us to destroy ourselves and our potential? cut us off from God. Satan only has power if we let him have power in our lives, but it's so easy to let Satan have power. But we can't even let him have a little bit because our strength is so delicate unless we take the time to fortify ourselves by staying away from him. Do we want to risk the wrath of the Lord that will come if we neglect ourselves physically and spiritually? I personally don't. But you know what? Everyone's got their choice. Everyone's got the ability to choose what they do. And nobody can make choices for each other. 
Everybody has to make their own. But choices have consequences. And consequences aren't so easy to escape all the time. Thank goodness for the atonement. But even with the atonement, the process of working through consequences can be a hard one. But the Lord will not abandon us. He will give us the strength we need to endure all that we ask for his help in enduring. We can be clothed with the spirit if we so wish. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humble in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh.